It's the first thing you notice when you lose a pet, the missing footsteps. It's quieter when you open the door. The silence is deafening. This week, I lost my best friend, a family member for 16 years, the ultimate dog who never left my side, Yogi. If you've lost a pet, you know this feeling. He was my constant companion, my running partner, the one who always dried my tears. Just 10 pounds, but with a heart as big as the ocean. Everyone with a pet goes through this, and the grief can be so painful because we loved him so much. Here's what I've learned. Grief comes and goes. It's different for everyone, but if you lose a pet, just know, It's okay not to be okay. You've lost a best friend, a constant buddy. I spent more time with Yogi than anyone else, and still, I wasn't prepared for the grief. It's also normal, I learned, to feel responsible for your pet's death, even if it was out of your control. And people also often want to think their pet's still alive somewhere. But those thoughts can make it more difficult to move on. It's good to go through photos. Enjoy the memories. Your memory is where your pet lives now. Eventually, you'll go from grief to gratitude, remembering what you had, the good times, knowing it hurts so bad because you loved your pets so much. Keep photos out where you can see them or create a space for them in your house to remember how much you loved your pet and take your time. You have to adjust to a new normal. Journaling helps. Write down whatever comes to mind. Describe your pet, your pain. Get it out of your head and onto paper. Create a memorial service. Losing a pet definitely leaves a hole in your heart. Even if you get a new pet, the one you lost can never be replaced. Talk about it. Find people who understand. Not everyone does. Some people just don't know how deep the loss is. But there are pet hotlines and pet grief groups because it can feel like losing family. You may decide to get a new pet, but your pet can never really be replaced. Yogi was one in a trillion. If you have other pets, they're likely feeling the loss too. Our little Lulu won't leave the garage door now. She's waiting for Yogi to come back home. She's barely eating, lethargic, spending a lot of time alone. I know just how she feels. If you're grieving the loss of your pet, find time for you. Get outside, exercise, motion moves emotion. Get sleep, find support. Maybe even write a letter right to your pet. Here's mine. Dear Yogi, you were one in a million. We spent nearly 16 years together. You gave your unconditional love every single day. Yogi, you were the best co-pilot, great in the car, on the motorcycle, in the kayak. Yogi, you like this? On the leash, we even water skied together. My one constant through all the moves, different homes, always up for a hike or up for a night on the sofa watching Netflix. You were so good to my mom when her mind was failing. You followed me every step of my day, from bed to the shower to the kitchen to my desk. I can't imagine my days without you. You set the bar for all future pets. I'll miss you forever. I told you every day that you're the best dog. You are. Hashtag best dog ever.